What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm in and out of it, you know? Got school going on. Life. But on top of it, well, not top of that. But, uh, besides all that, I got creating YouTube videos, you know? I've never been at this point of my YouTube in hobby or whatever that I've been this consistent in creating videos. I'm not gonna lie. When it was just me by myself playing, it was eh, you know, it would be hard to like make videos and uh everything you know but ever since like I met more people who's just like me YouTube has been pretty pretty good I've been just playing with other people having a good old laugh I'd be like hey yo 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 let's let's play something today let's let's record and you know we we be ourselves but yeah, but besides all that yapping, today we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. You probably already saw from the title. You probably were like, oh, great. Here he goes with his little girl um, voices just to read. Well, you better sit back and enjoy it because I'm I, you damn right. I'm about to have my girl voices. You ain't going to stop me. I will say, though, I will try to be a little bit better at the voices. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. But hey. Let's let's jump in the video because I've been yapping for so long okay okay anyways before I get back into it like start reading to catch some of you guys up my main character um his best friend well childhood friend wants him to join a club but I don't want to join a club but I have to join a club or something like that and so now well not now but like your best friend she was like hey I already told everyone in my club that you're going to try to join my club even though I had no say in it but yeah we also met everyone last video if you haven't watched the last video go back watch that video and then come back anyways let's, let's get into it I am I I'm defenseless against these girls how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this this is if written poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sorry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thank you. I mean, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a point to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Chris, I look forward to you 
to see how you express yourself. He. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with the mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki cleans up their food. Hey Chris, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Yuri and I walk home. never walk home together anymore because we always stayed at their school for clubs. No, she always stayed at their school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! These these voices are ass. I felt you guys. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sorry, not he, Yuri, and of course Monica. I'd really be happy sending, spending every day after school in the literature club. Will I really be happy spending every day at their school in the literature club? Perhaps I'd have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstance, and I'm sure good fortune will follow me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I gotta write the poem. Shit. I have no clue what I'm talking about, bro. This is kind of getting to me, though. This is a bob! Hey, yo! Now, let me get back into it. I'm just yapping at this point, bro. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this point. I'm yapping. Oh my lord, have mercy. What does Doki Doki even mean? I'll look it up. But not right now. I'm enjoying this song. Alright, what does this say? We don't even get to read it?! Watch it be some nonsense. It's gonna be some some nonsense, bro. Oh shit. Hey Chris. What? Hey, hey again, Chris. Let us see if you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I was scratching my ass, by the way, guys. You can smell it for me. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. They 
thanks for coming and keeping your promise, Chris. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sorry you told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come hang, I mean, come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. M M Nats Natsuki finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and manga. Monica's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Chris always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry. That's because your room is always so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? It might I, I might be a little jealous. How come you and Chris can be become good friends? <laughs> How come you and Chris can be good friends too? Sorry, sorry. Hmm. As usual, Sari seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, you even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sari. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry, mate sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. What y'all about to put me through, bro? Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant, pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Over here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep you, your attention even if you don't usually read. We could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This, th this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she think I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward at, to hearing what you think. Now, now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activity for the club. My fault. Uh, but that doesn't. But that doesn't seem the case. Sorry and Monica are, are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped back into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I closed my eyes and ended up listening in the sorry's conversation with Monica. 
We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clothes, though. Uh, well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone that literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need to need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody would come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it must... So it's important. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sorry, is really I me mean, is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberate, I mean, the, the, deliberating like this. That's a good point. In that case, you think Boo would do the trick? Well, what kind? Oh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't... That's, that wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sari is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble in finding any motivation at all, Sari can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get in my get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Yeah. I open my eyes to find Sori's face filling my vision. I literally fall out of my chair. Eh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like this. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have to have less time for anime, you know? You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, sorry. Eh. <laughs> It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. Not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, sorry, it's written all over you. Eh? Sorry glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all, all around here. Eh. I run my fingertips down the side of Sorry's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. Oh, that was, that was me talking. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get it right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight. Either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your color right there. I try to wrap off the stain with my finger. But nobody ever noticed that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't ever keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, sorry. Why do you think you don't 
a boyfriend yet. Eh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to butt her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh. Thumbnail, thumbnail. 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 Uh, this is so... F this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy you like this. Aren't you? Uh... I, I... I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is that? I mean, why is this so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Uh... It did when I brought it. Even if you button it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What? What are you smiling about? It means my boobs. <laughs> it means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Eh. Anyways, you look much better now. So, uh, why does it feel strange to see sorry button blazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it all at, it at all. Sorry, hesitantly unbutts her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sorry puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend then he won't even let you do the thing things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyways. So that's why I keep keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Oh, that was a mess. Jeez. Jeez. Well, anyways, just focus on trying to wake up a little later. A little. Eh, eh, a little earlier. Why don't you focus on getting going to bed earlier? Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking uh, taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it. You're doing it again, sorry. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell when you sometimes okay everyone eh? Monica suddenly calls out why don't we share the poems we wrote now yay Chris I can't wait to read yours yeah same I failed to sound enthusiastic but sorry still trots a way to retrieve her poem by the way did you remember to write a poem last night y yeah my relaxation ends I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sorry and Monica enthusiastically pulled out their poems. Sorry is on the wrinkled is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica pristine handwriting. Where I sit, Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply, comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I should I show my poem to first? Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Hmm. You're serious at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh. Sorry. 
I forgot to s start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it m might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so is that bad? N no! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and I, we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take time, I mean, take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really don't notice. Didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri founds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course that's not something you can blame, be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. It also helps that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Masuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is, apolog is apologizing to me, me to herself to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be a ledge blow? I can't read cursive! What is this? What is this? I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna attempt. Wait, click outside the point area to continue. Ghost under the light. The attendance. Fuck it. I'm not reading all that. I'm not reading all that. I'm I'm so sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. No shit. You do. You do. <laughs> what? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it looked like a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I usually think your handwriting is pretty. I mean, uh, I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem, even though it's short. It was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not, not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh -huh. uh, actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Chris. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did over I me mean, only glance over it after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, and feelings, and experiences in their works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poet is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering 
her pa- last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn pitting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up those things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, dang, man. I think this was a pretty good run today. Pretty good. Let me save it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for hearing me gap. But, uh, hey man, you'll see me next video. And hopefully, this next video, I don't know. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, check out the my other, my other YouTube friends. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching, and y'all have a nice day for all the credits. Shit, you already know I'm obsessed with it. <coughs> I can't get enough. Back with another milk. Hey!